Aloha everyone and welcome back to Aloha Jen's beauty blog. For those of you that are new here, hi! My name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician in the state of California. Well, welcome to this video today. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in my hair towel again. <laughs> I just got out of the shower and I filmed a whole introduction to this video and I scrapped it. So I'm starting from scratch and I really hope that this comes out. So tonight we are going to do a treatment using red LED light therapy and the Victoria Deanne peptides. Um, I have something I wanna to talk to you guys about. I thought I pulled it out, but I did not. So with the Victoria Deanne peptides, my recommendation for Pepti repair is to use it for when your skin is compromised or after your beauty treatments, um, such as microneedling, an aggressive form of exfoliation, a peel, microdermabrasion, um, that sort of thing. Now, <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend using it every day. Just when you feel like your skin barrier is compromised, it is very repairing and it will regenerate your skin. So I wanted to point that out there. Now, um, I have been getting questions about what my diet is and soon I will do a video on that because I am in the process of tweaking my diet and the reason um, is because about six weeks ago I discovered a gentleman called uh, named Paul Saladino MD on YouTube. And I discovered him through Thomas DeLauer's channel, which you all know I'm a fan of Thomas DeLauer. The only thing I would say is that he puts out so many videos and so much inform information, sometimes it's overwhelming. <laughs> um, but when he interviewed Paul Saladino, I started doing some research and he got me thinking. Now, if for those of you that don't know, he was the lead guy for coming out with the carnivore diet. Now he's animal-based. Now I'm not switching to a carnivore diet or an animal-based diet, but what I have done is I've included more animal products into my diet, such as quality red meats and just my overall quality of my meats is from regenerative farms now versus before buying it at my local grocery store. I um, eat more organs uh, versus what I did before. And I've just noticed a big change in my skin and how the nutrients are in my body. And since I've been, been incorporating good quality protein into my diet, I've noticed a bigger change in my skin. It's giving these Victoria Deanne peptides more amino acids to work with in my body because Victoria Deanne peptides work with your body by utilizing your body's own amino acids to get the message across to the tissues. So what's really important for us is that we get enough protein in our diet. Now, a couple weeks ago, I was thinking about investing in a almond cow, an at-home nut milk maker. And I have since changed my mind because I watched a video on oxalates and what they do to your health. And I had a, a diet very high in oxalates. And I'm in the process of removing those oxalates out of my diet because they inhibit your body from absorbing nutrients. You guys should look up, uh, what is it, Toxic Superfoods. It's a book. I'm actually going to pick it up. But Paul Saladino has a video about oxalates on your body with the author of that book, which is very interesting. Also another very interesting video for you guys to watch out or watch is the Skinny Confidential one where it says like the skin industry is, is lying to you or something like that. So, which is a very interesting title for that video because it doesn't like really, like, I mean, it kind of, you know, goes into skin, but it's overall health, okay? So let's put on my peptides. So I'm gonna start off with my Pepti Lift first and I'll continue talking to you guys. One thing I've noticed is I started using a humidifier at night um, when I sleep and at my desk at work because we're in fall now and it's getting a lot drier here. 
It's helping me sleep better. My skin feels better. Also, since I've incorporated um, Pepti Hyaluronic Acid and the Balancing Cleanser, which this is the cleanser that I used um, today, um, I'm not using as much of the peptides, and that's because my skin's natural moisture rising factor is balancing out, which I love. <laughs> All right, so let's go into with Pepti Lift. So instead of, I'm trying to eliminate nut milk from my diet, I'm going in with two drops of the Pepti Lift, and I'm just gonna start applying that here. And, um, uh, Joella said that she puts all these peptides around underneath her eyes. So I started doing that to test it out. Um, I did it when I saw her latest video. And um, just so you guys know, I'm not affiliated with Joella in any way whatsoever. I just, you know, one day when I was doing, I was watching YouTube, I heard about Victoria Dion peptides and I went on her webs. I went on YouTube and her video popped out at me. So I started watching them. And that's why I refer you guys to Joella. She's like no BS, okay? She's as real as they get out here. She's not trying super hard to promote, um, you know, you guys buying something that you don't need. Um, I really love that. She's real, okay? She's real. She's not like in it to like like others out here <laughs> so and she is an esthetician and she still practices on clients and she's been using victoria d m for over 10 years and she is the best person to reach out to to find out which victoria d m peptides you need in your skincare routine so so instead of using three everywhere, on my forehead I used one, dragged it down before I was using two, and then three everywhere else, I've just been using two. Now, My when I go into Pepti Tone, it'll probably be different. Okay, I'm going sidetrack now. So, um, so what I started to do now is I normally drink coconut milk by, I get the one from So Delicious, the organic one. So I'm going to be eliminating that. So I'm doing this slow process because I am lactose intolerant. I can eat certain cheeses and I can have like Greek yogurt, okay, or like Icelandic yogurt. Um, but other certain dairies really freak out my stomach. So I started incorporating goat's milk into my smoothies. And what I notice is that I'm more satiated and I feel better. <laughs> and, you know, nut milk is actually a processed food. So what I'm currently doing is adding in more animal-based products into my diet, cutting out seeds, seed oils, and oxalates as much as I can. Like seeds and seed oils, that's easy, except for when you go out to eat. But the oxalates is hard for me because I do like to have my greens and actually most of the greens that I have in my smoothie and in the salad are actually high in oxalates. <laughs> so I'm in the process of revamping my diet and when I get everything settled, I will come back on and share with you guys. I just know that I feel better and my skin looks better since I've incorporated more animal-based products into my diet. Now, I'm not being political. I'm just telling you what is working for my body and what I notice. And just by doing certain research because of how I was feeling and everything, well, I found some of the answers and I think Paul Saladino is definitely spot on, along with Thomas DeLauer too. So, that's all I'm going to say, you know, um, please don't be offended anyway. Don't judge me in any way because I don't judge any of you for what you eat or anything like that. I'm just being open and honest with you. All right, now let's go in with Pepti Tone. So where is my Pepti Tone? All right, so we're going to apply all my peptides or my Peptis, and then we're going to wait three minutes and we'll apply the LED Mass. So my LED mask that I'm using tonight is my newish one 
that I mentioned in my Let's Talk skincare video, which is by Farra Beauty. Now they are a new company and I really like this mask. It's affordable, it's got options. I love the options on it and I have just been really enjoying it. Now, I wanna tell you guys, because I'm getting oh, this question a lot too lately, is people have been asking me if I do Botox or fillers or if I've had like laser done to my skin and the answer is no. I've never had any procedures, no Botox, no fillers. The only needle that has ever touched my face is when I went to the dentist to get some dental work done and that was inside my mouth. <laughs> I've had a professional microdermabrasion treatment done before. I've had professional microneedling done. I've had um, a chemical peel done to my skin. That is it, but I do not do any Botox or fillers on my skin. I've used microcurrent for almost over 16 years and I've used LED red LED light therapy on my skin for the same amount of time. So with my skin, you know, it's sometimes hard to tell a difference in it with LED light therapy because I've been using it for years. And I do believe that with using microcurrent and LED light therapy, they've helped me age gracefully. <laughs> and that's why I continue to use them. Now, what's really important about these devices is you find the device that resonates with you that fits your budget and the one that you're actually going to use. Now, everybody's coming out with an LED light therapy device these days. Now, some of them are way overpriced in my opinion. And that's why I really like this mask is because it's only $229. Free shipping, I believe worldwide, and there's no tax. So it's a great, option for you guys to look at if you're looking into a mask make sure you go online and check the specs this has red and near infrared they cannot be separated blue and orange light you can do um, uh, each mode separately or you can do auto mode by where you pick a certain time and it will run through each of those lights for a certain amount of time so i'm going to go in with hefty hyaluronic now and then you also have control over the intensity of the light. So the intensity of the light, you can go from low, medium, and high. You know, I just discovered that I have this double seal on my Pepti Hyaluronic. Maybe that's why I haven't been able to close it that tight. Duh. <laughs> they were stuck together. All right. So I'm gonna go in with one drop of Pepti Hyaluronic, and I'm gonna start this on my forehead and see how far it will travel down. So I was able to get my forehead, my temples, and my nose this time. Next, I'm gonna go in with one drop again. Now remember, my skin impedance is different from yours, so your skin, might require more drops. I would just suggest doing one to do one to two drops at a time and go from there and work it into your skin. You know, I've been using the Victoria Dion peptides now for seven weeks today. And I definitely noticed so many changes in my skin. It looks firmer and tighter. This one I put on my lips too. Firmer and tighter, it's just like everything's coming together. It's like, I feel like my skin looks definitely a couple years younger than what it would look like before I started these. Firmer, tighter, when I look close up in the mirror, it's just, it looks so much younger, guys. It's a lot firmer, tighter. I have more recoil and bounce in it, more plumpness. My wrinkles are looking less apparent. One of the things that I just can't like get over is how good my chest looks. <laughs> like my chest wrinkles are almost gone and it's absolutely amazing. So I'm taking just one more drop of that Pepti Hyaluronic 
and I'm working it into my chest. So, um, also with this LED light mouse, sorry, I got sidetracked, is that you have a controller and the controller, you could see the time on here and everything, which I love. Also, another thing I love is it has these um, protection um, eye shields in it that are removable. So they're sort of like built-in goggles. So this really does protect around your eye. So you can use this and truly see when you're doing things. And what I'm gonna do while I'm using the LED light mask is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes because um, I'm gonna multitask. <laughs> and that's the reason why an LED light mask fits my lifestyle is because since I am wearing it for 15 to 30 minutes, I need it to be in the sense of me not being tied down because there's things that I have to do. And I'm already tied down with doing microcurrent and I don't wanna be tied down with another device. So a mask works perfect for me because I can still do things and multitask with it. Now, there is another LED light device that I'm looking into that I think I'm gonna save up for for Black Friday. Um, if they have a sale, I'm not so sure, but I'll pop a picture of it here. Now it is a panel. Now this one is a um, three minute treatment. You have three modes. You have red, infrared, and amber for one mode, which would be your anti-aging. Then you have your anti-breakout mode, which is just blue light and I think red. I'm not for sure I have to remember that. And then you have, um, maybe this one's your anti-breakout mode where it's red and blue light together. And what I like about this is the portability of it. Now, I really want to get a panel, but where am I gonna put it? <laughs> I don't have anywhere to put it. It's gonna take up space. And I don't always have that time to sit there. So I'm gonna go in with the Pepti Pro Call now. Um, what I like about the panel is you can treat multiple areas at one time, which is lovely. And this one is, seems nice too. Now. One thing I want to suggest is, I'm going to go in with one drop of Pepti Procol, is that you always need to follow these red or these LED light or with any device in general, the device manufacturer instructions. You know, I've been seeing a lot of people overuse their LED light devices, using them too much and more than what the device manufacturer recommends. So this is two drops underneath my eyes, my nose, and my cheeks, and around my mouth, and in front of my ear. And people are using it more than what they suggest. Now, you can burn out your skin from using your LED device too much. And, you know, I've been using it for so long that I just use it three days a week. Okay? So... Just always keep that in mind. More isn't always better. Doesn't mean that it's going to create collagen faster because no matter what, it takes 30 days for your collagen to start building and for you to kind of see a difference, okay? So take that into consideration. All right, so I did two drops on my neck and two drops on my chest. And um, I've been using the fat pad at night on my last video, I had a new subscriber that has been using FatPad, and she's been using it, I think she said since 2021, and she's been focusing it here underneath her eyes, and she said that it has really helped tremendously to fill in her under eye area. Now, you guys, look at my under eye area. It is looking so good, and I have to tell you that this broken capillary is finally looking less apparent in my skin. Overall, like the broken capillaries in my cheeks are looking so much better. When I haven't been rubbing my face, my skin tone looks pretty darn even. <laughs> um, and just all those, those, like especially underneath my eyes, they're getting brighter. And you can just tell that the tissue underneath here is looking so much better. Now that isn't completely from Pepti, Pepti Pad. I've been using, um, for the most part, I have been putting Pepti Hyaluronic underneath my eyes, Pepti Elastin, and then, um, what was it? 
Last night I switched to using Pepti Pad because you know what? I feel like I need it, especially here in my eyes. Now I do use Adipo three times a week as a maintenance. All right, so I'm gonna go in with Pepti Elastin now. But as you guys can see, like look at how much better my skin bounces. And like it's not as loose as what it was before. And this looks so much better. Now like they're still loose here, but it's gonna get, my skin's gonna get better because they say like to really see your true, like they say to give you, give your skin 30 days, or 30 days, three months um, with these peptides. But I have been seeing changes in my skin every week for the last seven weeks. These are such a game changer. And with these peptides, I definitely feel like I don't need a growth factor. What is a growth factor? It's peptides. <laughs> so I'm going in with two drops of the elastin and I put this underneath my eyes and all the way down the lower half of my face, my cheeks. So as you can see, elastin has sort of a brown color. This is the only one out of my peptides that has that color. All the rest of them are clear. So I took another two drops and I'm working this into my neck and I will massage it up. Um, one thing I will update you guys on, um, now that it's coming to mind is that with the collagen gel, I cannot use that as my sole moisturizer. It's just too light, especially for right now that it's drier. It's just not working out for my skin that way. I do like it under microcurrent and I do like it as a serum though. I'm not saying that you have to get it, but right now it does not work out for my skin as a sole moisturizer, but I believe in the summertime it would. I have been enjoying the night moisturizer, which we will use tonight, and I have been really enjoying this balancing cleanser too. All right, so we're gonna do Pepti Pad, and then we will do my LED light mask, and then I will go off camera. I'm only gonna do it for 15 minutes, and then I'll come back and put my eye serum on and my rejuvenator and moisturizer. And that's going to be it for my skincare. So with my skincare, um, I have eliminated my growth factor, which is saving me hundreds of dollars. I've eliminated uh, any other anti-aging serums that I have in the evening. Um, I've eliminated an, a separate eye cream. And that's it for right now. But yeah, I'm not piling on all these other different serums on my skin because I really feel like these are enough. Now, I did order Joella's um, Capture Youth Water. So I will be trying that as soon as that comes in. And we'll do a video on that too. So um, I'm thinking hopefully Sunday, if I have time, if not Monday, We'll do like the Sunday facial and I'm gonna show you a treatment with using red LED light therapy and the Pico toner. So I haven't used microcurrent since my last Sunday facial and my skin still looks good. Like these peptides are amazing. So if you can't use devices, I would look into these peptides because you will still get really excellent results. Your devices, like your microcurrent and your LED, light therapy, they're just going to boost your skin, but I'm not relying on my devices for my skin, <laughs> which is so great because I don't have a lot of time. So we're going to go in with Pepti Pad and I'm going to put this where my fat pads are. So like on my, between my brows and I'll do a little bit on my forehead and I'm going to just take this and travel it down to my temples. So anywhere where you have hollowness in the skin or it looks sunken in, then I'm gonna take what's left over and put this underneath my eyes. Now, if you watched my other videos, you know how important it is to keep the peptides 
on your fingertips. That's why you don't want to put too much at one time because it will travel down and absorb into the rest of your fingers and your palm. If you want to use more, you definitely can. I would just suggest using gloves so you're not wasting product. So I took that and traveled it down to the tops of my cheeks. Now I'm going to take Pepti Pad and put it on the rest of my lower half of my face. Down into... I took two drops and you see how far that traveled down? And I do to just put it on my neck too because maybe it'll regenerate that those fat cells in there too. I know that this is meant to regenerate the, the fat pads, but I've been putting a little bit on my neck too to see if it will help regenerate the fat cells in there too. Just doing a little test. I definitely put it over my lips. And this also has instant hydrators or has hydrators in it that will give that instant plumping effect to the skin. So anywhere where you see hollowness or second in appearance, that's where you want to put Pepti Pad. You don't have to put it on your neck like I did, but I just did it because <laughs> I'm testing it out. I can do that and I can report back to you guys um, before you do that and waste your product, okay? All right, so I'm going to let this penetrate in for another few seconds, and then we'll go into the LED light device. So let's talk about this a little bit. So I'm going to show you the controller. So right here is the power button. And when you turn it on, it starts out at 20 minutes, but you can press the M button to change your mode. And I use it on red LED light therapy. It's on auto right now, so this is red and near infrared. You use this plus sign to, they have a plus and a, uh, or yeah, <laughs> and a negative sign to adjust the intensity. So it goes, that's low, you have medium and high. When you turn it on, it starts out at 20 minutes and medium light, okay? And then you can adjust your time right here on the side so you have 15 20 and 30. so i'm just going to turn it off really quick now you have to remember the longer the time that you choose the higher the intensity the more battery it's going to take up okay so now i'm going to put this on so you have these velcro straps that you can address per your head side head size Okay, so it is a little bit big, I will tell you that, and it is definitely heavier than my Enduro. So here it is on my skin, but you can see it does cover a big area. And just because that this is not touching my skin doesn't mean it's not working. Anywhere where you see that light bouncing, is it's working in that area, okay? So I'm going to turn it on. Okay, see, it's hitting my neck here. Two. All right, so I'm going to go into doing it for 15 minutes and I'm going to do it on red and near infrared and I'm going to do it at the highest LED light level. Okay, so there it is. So I'm going to do this and that's why I love this controller so much because I can see the time instead of me guessing. So I'm going to do that and I really... I kind of feel like I don't even need to, need to use my Duro. I haven't been using my Duro um, neck piece for the last couple weeks. I've just been using this and you see how it's hitting that. I mean, of course it's not as strong right here, but it's still covering that area. So I don't know. All right, so I will see you guys after this treatment's done to finish the rest of my skincare. Okay, so I have two minutes left on my LED light treatment. I um, did clean up my makeup brushes. <laughs> this took most of the time. But I wanted to let you guys know that I've been falling in love with the BK Beauty makeup brushes. So I did pick up the Angie Hot and Flashy set. And I also picked up the travel set because I love this bag. <laughs> so it fits all my most important um makeup brushes but what i love about it is that not only does it have the zipper for traveling but you can fold this down 
and it stands up on your counter and you can store your makeup brushes like this and what I've done. And now it has these bands on the inside that you can put your brushes in or you can just put them all in there without being attached to the bands. But I love it. <laughs> I've been loving these brushes. They're so easy to clean and they dry fast. Now, my favorite brush cleaner is the Beauty Blender Solid. I find that this is the best cleanser for your brushes. Now, I had a sample of this um, that I got with my Beauty Blenders last year during the Christmas, and I just finished up both of them. And so I picked this one up at Sephora. So what you do is you take your wet brush and you rub it on here, and then this is your scrubber, and you can use this to scrub your brushes with, and then you rinse it off. It rinses off clean, and it's so easy to get off the gunk off your makeup brushes. Really good value, and these last a long time, by the way. All right, as you can see, the LED light mask went off. So I'm gonna turn it back on for a second, because I wanna show you guys something. So since I have this eye protection in, you're probably wondering, well, it's not really getting fully around my eyes. It's getting around your eyes where it matters, okay? So I just wanted to point that out as you can see it underneath here. So I'm gonna take it off. Now, I will tell you that depending on how tight you have the mask on, it can these can push in a little bit around your eyes. But here is my skin after. Now, it's always a little bit red like this after my LED light therapy. All right, so things that I love about this mask the most, I love this controller and I love these inserts and I love the functionality of this mask. Now, I think that every LED light mask should have these inserts um, that you can put in or take out um, whenever you would like because it makes such a huge difference, especially for me because usually when I wear my red LED light mask, if I'm doing things around my house, the only way I can truly see is if I have all the lights on. <laughs> this is a game changer for that. And I think that light mask should take a note of that, okay? <laughs> so I love this mask. It's working out great for me. Just like with anything that I recommend, make sure that you look into the return policy and the warranty. Now, this is a new company and they do not take credit card. It's either PayPal or Venmo. I'm sure that's gonna change in the future as they, you know, develop more. So I'm gonna go in with my Victoria Dian Light Serum. Now, I just take out a little bit out of a time. I don't do a full pump, pump down. And we are gonna put this on. So this, I'm almost out. Um, I've been using this same one. This is my first one for seven weeks, twice a day. And this is the only eye product I'm using on my eyes. During the day, I do use the Color Science Total, total Eye 3-in-1. Um, I use that as my concealer and my SPF protection around my eyes and it does have some skincare properties to it. So what I do is I take out, you know, half a pump and then what's ever left over on the roller ball, I roll around my eyes because if you don't do that after you squeeze some out, it will travel down. And I feel the reason why I squeeze some out first before I use the roller is that I feel like I don't get an even application on my eyes and I and I do that with all my eye products that have an applicator like that so it's just me <laughs> all right so next we're gonna go in with our rejuvenator so we have the rejuvenator of medium and then after this I took two pumps and after I get done with my nighttime moisturizer I'm going to go brush out my hair, and then come back. Now, I'm not gonna do anything to my hair. I'm not gonna blow dry it or anything like that. I'm just gonna put some leave-in conditioner in it. I'm taking a half a pump and putting some more on my chest. I'm just gonna put in some leave-in conditioner in it, and then also, um, like probably the Virtue uh, Curl Whip. 
in it and just let it dry naturally. So I've heard some people recently say, of course they're not um, hair professionals, say it's not good to let your hair air dry. Now, that's simply not true. It is good to let your hair air dry. The thing that gets confusing with that is that it's really not good to let it air dry without product in it because we have products for a purpose is because it's not to influence you to put a whole bunch of shit on your hair, <laughs> but it's to protect your hair. Your hair needs that protection just like your skin does, okay? All right, so I will go in with my night moisturizer. That's collagen gel. So the only thing I'm struggling with right now still is finding the right daytime moisturizer for my skin. I'm going through this weird thing with my skin right now. Um, it's been in the low 60s, then it bumped to 70, and then today it's 88, and tomorrow it's supposed to be like 93. Same thing on Thursday, then it's going to drop into the low 60s again. You can see how <laughs> that has a shock on your skin. Our weather here is not consistent um, in the fall. So you can see like where I'm having a hard time to find the right moisturizer for my skin. So once I find it and I'm going to, I'm just going to use up the moisturizers that I have right now and try to make them work before I buy anything else because Black Friday is coming around the corner and I know Zip's having a sale and Oralift is having a sale. Like Zip and Oralift are gonna have like their best sales for Black Friday, just so you know. I believe they're gonna be starting mid-November. For you guys, I wouldn't be making any big purchases right now. I would save my money for Black Friday. Um, some companies will start early, like the beginning, first week or second week in November. Some may even start at the end of October. It just usually depends on how this much this month goes, as this is going to be quite a challenging month for a lot of companies because a lot of people don't want to make those big purchases because they're saving up for the special deals for Black Friday. And I don't blame them because I would be doing the same thing. Well, I am. <laughs> I don't have any big purchases um, on my list for Black Friday. Now, I don't know if New Rochus will be having any sort of Black Friday sale. I know there won't be a, you know, you have to check with Jolella to see what she'll do um, for your Victoria Deanne, but I know like Skin Beautiful RX will have it. Like pretty much every retailer will have a huge Black Friday sale. You just have to pay attention on when they're gonna have them. Um, yeah, so. Stay tuned for that as they come. I will let you know. I'm probably not going to do a special video on it um, because I don't want to create FOMO. I don't want you know people to feel like they're missing out on anything uh, or overspending. So I know like the economy is tough right now. A lot of people had to just pay their income taxes, and then property tax comes up here next month. Christmas is just crazy and grocery shopping is insane. I know here in California, um, our gas is like $6.30 a, a gallon. Um, at one point it was $7 a gallon recently. And then they, I don't think it's ever going to go down from $6 because they want to keep it that way. <laughs> and so when gas goes up, everything else goes up. Shipping, the cost of food, all that stuff. And you know, a lot of us have jobs to where the market hasn't adjusted to the economy. So it's been tough times. I just can't believe my grocery bill when I go grocery shopping. All right, so I'll be back in a flash. Okay, so here I am. <laughs> so here is my skin after moisturizer has been on for about 10 minutes. I did diffuse my hair a little bit because I'm going to put a clip in right here and I need my roots dry so um they don't get like any like weird stuff going on in there <laughs> so um i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'm sending you all so much love and light now i will try to pop on here sunday for that treatment um i was thinking about maybe i could do i could do it on monday but i'm getting my hair done on monday 
and I'm not going to want to do a treatment after that because I don't want to wash my hair for a couple of days. So, <laughs> um, so I'm hoping to come back on Sunday and we'll do um, a, a treatment with using LED light therapy and the Pico toner. If I have time to pop on any other time this week for a treatment, I most definitely will. And with, as I always say, especially when I talk about like devices and products that I've been using and I've been loving, um, make sure you check out the ingredients to see if they're right for you. With devices, make sure that you check their return policy and look up all the information to make sure it is right for you because just because I like something and I'm seeing great results with my skin doesn't necessarily mean it's right for you because we all have different skin types, different impedances, okay? Now, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I keep doing that. <laughs> um, with this LED light mask, I, I do really like it and they did send it to me for review. This is not sponsored nor am I affiliated with them in any sort of way. So I just wanted to point that out to you. They just sent this to me for review and that's it. They did not pay me to talk about it. They did not pay me to make this video. So I wanted to point that out to you guys because I no longer do any sort of sponsored content to where they pay me to make a video, okay? I've done it a couple of times for 70 Wellness and as of, you know, when I made my very last video months ago, I ended doing that type of content because I don't like having like things held over my head, so to speak. And I like to have control over my content. Um, <clears throat> so, and, you know, there's all sorts of things that we can get into with sponsored content. And like I always say, this is not my sole source of money. I do this to help you guys and to have some fun and meet meet um, people and help them because my calling is to help people and I care, you know? The thing is, I care about you all so much. All right, so I am gonna go now. I'm sending you all so much love and light until the next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. See you then.